Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about this staircase. Most of you are asking me how to create kind of this staircase and today I will show you how we can create it with just simple way, one of the simple way how you can do that. Don't worry, we will use the family staircase, we not will use the messing form. This is, will be totally staircase from the Revit tool. Let's get started. And as always, first thing, let's create the new project. We will go to the file, we will use the new, we will use the project family and let's use the metric architectural template. Doesn't matter which template you are using, this is no matter, we are talking now about the vanilla Revit tool, so we will use it. And straight away let's go to the uh, our ribbon menu, here you will find the stair, let's use the stair and straight away we will start to draw create the sketch. If you don't know what is the sketch, I have uh, pretty a lot the tutorials about the uh, stairs, even the uh, how create the sketch stair, but today I will show you again how you can do that. Our staircase, as you know, it's like that. It's have the uh, this angle, but we cannot just create like that form. Before we will do that, we will uh, create part of the our staircase. Let me I will create the first part of my staircase. This will be one, and I will just copy this boundary. So we should have only two boundaries for the staircase. We you cannot have like ten boundaries or like eleven boundaries. Only one, and between these boundaries, you should place your riser okay here is my riser and if i will uh, put my uh, stair path on the middle and i will say okay let's see what i will get i will get just straight line as you can see nothing else if i will select it let me let me finish it first as you can see here is our staircase finally <laughs> okay i'm kidding let's delete the railings if i will select it let's change the type of the our stair as you can see, it's now uh, 190 millimeter mix maximum riser, but I wanna change it to the precast set stair. Let me will change, and you will get some flat thing. So we will start from that. I will do it in 3D view. It's better to you. Uh, you will see the changes. Let me still select it. Let me will go in inside to the edit stair. I will select it again, and I will change the sketch what we did before. Here is my sketch, and I will change it right now. Let me I will add some more rises. Uh, here is the rises, and you can add inside as many as much rises as you want. For example, one, two and maybe three, why not. Uh, the distance between rises now it's not correct, but look here, as you can see, I did here the mistake. If I will say OK, I, it, it not will be any wrong, but you shouldn't have the result like that. Let me will select again, let me will go to the uh, edit my sketch, and if you will see, it's going out of the boundary. Look at on these points, it should be finished exactly on the boundaries. Maybe it's not will be wrong right now, but when you will make the complex uh, complex um, stair, it will. Let me will delete the stairs because it's different distance. I don't want to have the different distance. Let me will use the offset. And between each rises, I want to have 350 millimeter. It's uh, actually, this is too much, but this is what I want. And let me will like, do like that. So we did it, some of the rises, and as you can see, it's my stair become it really huge. Let me will make it a bit small, maybe like that. And I, I just uh, moving the lines, nothing else. And if we will say okay, here is the my rises. So we did it. Actually, we did one part of uh, our rise. As you understand, I will do it one pa part by part. Uh, if you will see. I finished this part of the stair, but my stair is still not finished. We're creating the stair, as you can see. Revit still waiting when we will finish. If we will go to the level one, let me I will continue here. Now we can create our angle. Let me I will go back to the sketch mode. Here is sketch, create the sketch. And I will create my boundary. First, my boundary will be here, exactly on the same line. And the second, my boundary, I will copy this line. Let me I will just copy this line here, and um, let me I will just change the angle to the 45 degree. Here is the 45 degree, and let me I will extend it 
till v not will get intersection here. Okay, we did it, and now I will use the my risers, and I will place first here and last here. And after that, I will use again the my offset tool, and let's offset everything one by one, one by one. After that, let's use the our trim and extend. Let's use the our trim line and what we want to extend. And as you can see, we perfectly cut it. Let me I will finish this stair right now. I will go to the 3D view, and what we get? We get something different, you will think, but no. Let me I will select this part and I will say I don't wanna have any relative base of uh, height. It will be zero. And now we have exactly the same part, but now with the angle. So what we're gonna do next? Next we will create the another uh, angle. Let me go to the le uh, level one. I will select this part and I will just perfectly mirror it by this 45 degree. Let me I will go to the 3D. And what we will get, as you can see, exactly the same thing. So now you should only do one thing. You should will say, yes, I want to finish this stair. Once you will say finish, you did it. So here's your stair. After that, you can add some railings, for example, for this part. Why? Because we have here the uh, joining, joint part and we can place here our railing. How we can do that? Just go to the ribbon menu, find here the railing, open up it, place on the stair ramp and you can just, for example, let's choose the pipe one and perfectly just place it here. Delete which you don't need, for example, this one I don't need, maybe this one, oh sorry, Control Z, and this one I don't need and I will not need only one of this. Let me see. As you can see, here we have the railing, but it's not perfectly on the middle. Why? Because uh, as default, our railing have the offset from this line. If you will see here, offset from the path. We don't want to have any offset, we want it to make it zero. Once you will make the zero, it's exactly on the line. The same situation here, if you will select your uh, railing, you will see it's the, have some offset here. Let's check the our properties, offset from the path, let's say zero. And once you will say zero, you will get the result as this one. If you will go to the level one and you will select your railing, you can even change your path. For example, you wanna, you can extend it a bit. Let me extend it, let me go to the 3D and we get the thing like that. So as you understand, you can change it. Yeah, the host, you, <laughs> as you can see, it uh, become a bit not uh, perfectly because better to finish our railing uh, also on this part. For example, I will show you on this part and this part. Why? You will see right now. Let me go to the 3D. As you can see now, it's perfectly. And now here we can place straight uh, railing. What I mean? Let me I will go back to, to here, railing, railing on the ramp, and for example, which one? Let me I will use the stringer. Oh, not stringer, the same one. Oh, we cannot place it as you can see. It's okay. We can use the sketch by path, and let me I will place it here. I wanna place it here. Okay, let's say okay. Let me go back to the 3D. You, you can see it here under the our staircase. Once you will select it pick the host, pick the host, and now it's working. Yeah, it's uh, you should click a few more times, but anyway, it's working. Uh, let me, I will show you one more time again here. You have this uh, railing, select your railing, go to the edit path, change the path till, it, till the height it will finish, so till the flat line. You can use, for example, a line key if you want. I'm using the right now a line, and I'm placing here, as you can see. Say OK. Once you will say OK, here will be exactly uh, under angle your uh, railing. Go to the rail railing, sketch path, go to the level 1 or any other view which you want. Draw your path, say OK, go back to the 3D, select your railing and pick the host. Our host, it's the our stair. Select it, you did it. As you can see, you get perfect line. So. We spent less than 10 minutes and you already did this staircase. I think I will continue to create kind of tutorial where you can spend like 10 minutes and you can create really interesting thing or really useful. Why it's useful? 
why we create it uh, by the stair. It's a complex you think, but it's useful. If you will select your stair right now, you will see our uh, riser height is 170 millimeter. Let's I will change it. For example, I will make here the 18. Enter. We change our height here and it automatically change our height here too. So if you will use the model in, uh, in model in model in place, you not uh, will able to change it so fast. Anyway, you you have the ways to change it fast, but not so without any problem. You can change it only with the vanilla Revit tool. Okay, if you will find this tutorial really useful, don't forget about the likes and comment because this is tutorial only for you guys. I'm doing it every day. Okay, every week. Thank you guys for your watching and see you next time.